Hello, it is uh, Saturday evening, uh, 6.20, I dropped Ella off about 4 o'clock. It is my 42nd birthday today, and uh, I should be really editing some videos together that I shot on this. But I've had a pretty, pretty productive day today, I got up quite late, went to... Uh, have a chat with the farmer and also uh, Nikki from from here to help with uh, getting their newsletter out consistently. I can't get my own newsletter out, but I can do it for other people. And uh, got that done. And that was cool because they got a phone call as well straight after, probably about five minutes after the newsletter went out about booking. It just showed the sort of power of having a newsletter and having a group of people who want the service or want the product but have forgotten about it. And I got to have a chat about the pods. So that's really cool because uh, there might be some movement on the pods. Now I, I know kind of what a time scale to deliver them, but also how much they would cost each. So I'm kind of looking at either having a conversation with an investor, somebody who's very interested in investing, but also kickstarting as well. But the Kickstarter would be for quite a lot of money. So I'm trying to tie it all together with a trip to South by with some cards with you know people to donate towards the idea simplifying the idea having some good assets to take with me and uh, giving it a bit of time to germinate but also at the same time if I give it 60 days and then it takes eight weeks to make them that might miss the May date for bushcraft which is a three-day event here and uh, I don't really want to miss that because I think that would be really valuable to go to well I'm going to it but I mean it would be really valuable to launch the whole laser cutting Coda Dojo because there's quite a big audience that's going to be here for three days and just you know getting 20 or 30 of those people coming regularly would keep would sustain it would sustain the business I'm sure <laughs> got a sense of apathy over me at the moment. I know I'm on my days off, but I really should be cracking on with stuff, and I'm, I'm not, which is weird. I was really exhausted after day four last time, and I think I went through some, like, metaphysical body change. Uh, I was exhausted, really, really exhausted. But I'm uh, healthy, I'm not ill or anything like that, which a lot of my friends are ill. So I guess I'll just tidy up. Ella's gone to a Christmas tea, even though it's the 17th of January. She's coming back in a bit, staying over tonight. We're going to watch a film. And tomorrow I've got a deep clean, or at least give the caravan a reasonably good clean and clean the toilet, empty toilet stuff out. Start working on some landing pages, edit some more stuff. But uh, yeah, survival. I had some good news today, I can't complain, I've had some good news and some people have been really reasonable and cool to me today. So I really can't complain about that. I did use uh, a new app called Storio, uh, Storio to make a little video blog when I went out yesterday with CJ. Or oh, got to edit together a video that me and CJ shot in a pub, like a PCM update, catch up. That reminds me I've got to get a video of my talk off CJ as well to put on my channel. So yeah, lots to be done, lots to be done. Things I want to do with the caravan, I want to put some more insulation in here. I want to get a fixed computer in here so I can do more work on that. But I've kind of been really slow into January. I've not kind of chased it down like I would normally. But this feels like a better route. It feels more realistic. What else do I want to talk about? That's about it really. One of the major projects is to get Wi-Fi, proper Wi-Fi connectivity, cellular connectivity up here with a decent aerial system that I can connect all my devices to via Wi-Fi instead of trying to get 4G at certain places in the caravan and work out how to get enough bandwidth to survive without having to pay 30 quid out every eight days. That's crazy. You really notice how much bandwidth you use when you're on cellular. 
that's it really i will catch up with you in a bit um i'm gonna make some tea get my computer out do some work see you in a bit now i've got to do the bit that i really don't like doing emptying the toilet not great it doesn't take long it takes like 10 minutes but i have to have like reinforcements for it so today i have some reinforcements bring it on this should do the job no, it really hurts, so I should empty it really quickly. I also need the toilet. Done. Don't enjoy that job at all. Ugh. Although the nose thing works really well. I didn't smell anything. Ugh. It's actually quite heavy to pull that thing down, so I use one of these little satch truck things called the Clark Strong Arm, which works really well actually. Apart from it does slide off, but uh, it's better than carrying. Big heavy box of piss. The Sunday afternoon now is to get all the video off this camera and any other camera I've used. I haven't used my other camera this week. I've really just not been on point to vlog this week about anything, although there has been things going on. Yesterday was good because I had a chat about the pods and we've got a price and a time frame for them to be built, um, which is a good time frame and also about the rent in terms of. Um, yearly cost which is a lot better than we thought it was going to be tell me about that more soon i'm going to be working a lot on um a lot of the beehives stuff auxiliary auxiliary stuff so things like the pods on airbnb that's got to be done some calendars have got to be done in terms of when you can book it out and the concierge that and all the things that i know about airbnbs that i've been to i'm gonna try and put that in together but um Tidying up of the van, I need to do a bit of a deep clean on certain areas. I've just cleaned the toilet. Uh, I've got to get myself cleaned up. I've got to have a shower. I've got to fill my, um, uh, what do you call it, slow cooker. So I'll put that on in the morning for tomorrow night. And yeah, it's kind of like lockdown. I have to make all my sandwiches and everything for tomorrow. As you usually do with people, I guess, and families and jobs and work and things. But I guess I've just had it quite easy in some ways. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a good routine, it's good. I feel I feel fresh to go back to work now. Last week, I didn't know if I could make it again this week. But I think I went through something last week. I think like my body went through a, a physical shift. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and do some video editing. And then, um, what's coming up in the next week? Next weekend should be quite a bit of video because I'm going down to London. So I will take my video camera with me. I'll take my GoPro with me. And I've been looking at a gimbal as well, but it's quite a lot of money. But it's a nice gimbal, it's a handheld gimbal, like a three axis thing, which I think would be nice for sort of doing interviews and shots. But I do need to get the microphone for this first.